then be able to handle the ball. All right, so I need three guys at half court without a ball. One, two, three. I need three guys down there with a ball, each one of them. Three down here with a ball. And then the other, do we have ten? Yeah, one guy just jump in the line. Okay, you don't need a ball, and you don't need a ball. So put that on the side, put it in the rack. All right, Tennessee drill. So this is a great shooting drill, especially if you don't have a lot of baskets. Um, we do a couple variations on this drill, but I call it the Tennessee drill. Um, and the way it works, and we, and we change it up, we'll shoot two pointers on this drill, we'll shoot three pointers, you three are gonna run at these three and get the ball. So let's shoot, you know, 16, 17 footers. Okay, as soon as you pass it to them, you're gonna run in the other direction and get the pass from those three. Okay, all right, start at half court. This is a, this is a great conditioning drill. Um, 85 makes in two minutes. By the end of the season, we're up to about 110. This is an extremely hard drill to count with one person. Um, you basically need a, somebody, that, one of your injured guys or an assistant coach at one basket and you at the other basket. Um, I've tried to count it by myself and it's really hard. So 85 makes in two minutes. Like I said, by the end of the season, um, you know, we can usually get to about 110 in two minutes. So we'll, we'll just go for 30 seconds here. Okay, let me move this. Ready? Go. Yep, get those hands up. You know, we're working on catching the ball in the proper position, squaring up. I don't think we've had a make yet, coach. There we go. Again, if you're in a small gymnasium, this is a perfect drill. Two, all you need is two baskets to do this. Good, stop. No matter what drill you have, when I, again, it goes back to my fast, fast practices, my machine gun practices, you gotta name everything. Just give it a name, call it spot. It doesn't really matter. Something quick that you can call out that they know. So I call it Tennessee. Takes them 10 seconds, they know exactly where they go, they know how many balls they need, and we're off into the drill. So I can watch what they're fundamentally doing or not doing. Um, okay, three guys at half court with the ball, three down the baseline, so we need three, three, three. So for the young guys, that's probably the best way to do it, okay? Um, just catching, squaring, getting their feet squared, you know, calling for the ball. We had a couple guys talking out here, which is great. Can't play this game unless you talk. Um, but for the young guys, that's probably the best way to do it. I have tried to do this with four, 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 five, five, five. It gets too crowded. This is th three, three lines seems to be the magic number. It lets them rest a little bit too. This is a bigger court, so it's a little bit harder on them. Um, the older guys will do, will do dribbling, okay? So the rule is, and they'll cheat on this one, okay? If you don't talk to them, they'll cheat on every drill. If you don't yell at them, they'll cheat on every drill. You guys are gonna dribble there and do, take the same shot. Go ahead. And as soon as they shoot, you guys go. Go. So the exact same drill, except we have three more. So you need nine balls to be able to do this. Go, 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 go. We're short one. Go on. That's all right. You guys listen like my guys. Over here, one over here, one here, and one over on the side. Come on, let's try it again. So we need somebody else down here. Somebody else down here. There you go. Good hustle. All right, hold on one second. So, again, the balls are going to bounce all over the place. If a kid isn't hustling in this drill, they'll stand out because people will be passing them. Um, you'll quickly know who's not going to work hard. Um, but what I like about this, you can do jumpers, you can th do three pointers, you can make a move as soon as they get past half court. You know, you can be more creative than I can probably be, but you can do a lot of different things. If you do this for two, three minutes, they'll be gassed. So they're not only running, but they're shooting. Um, you know, I, I, I do some running with my guys. I'll give you a good free throw thing at the end. But I, I, I like to run them in, the, in, the, in our practice. We, we get up and down the court a lot. Um, I like to transition. I like to condition them up and down the court. They're, they're conditioning right now and they don't even know it and they're having fun and shooting and trying to, you know, reach our goal. All right, go ahead. As soon as they shoot, you go. All right, one more time.
Good, stop. So what that's, I mean, again, what we're doing is trying to get him up and down the court quickly, shooting, um, you know, doing those kind of things. You get a lot of shots in a short period of time. And, you know, I call it the Tennessee drill. You can, you can call it whatever.